ever wondered how to make hair so realistic that even your pet might get jealous? Well, you've come to the right place, because in today's tutorial we'll be diving into the world of creating fur and hair. I have my main composition, which I have set up at 4K, so 3840 by 2160 and I have a separate composition where I have my text or this can be a logo or an image or anything you want to create fur or hair on top of. And we're just keeping this separate so we can uh, change this in the future or add anything different in here at a later date. So let's go back to our main composition and let's start by adding our effect which is CC hair. So I'm going to bring this onto our logo composition. Now this is a powerful tool and it does take a while to completely master. So my suggestion is to follow along, but also to simply have a play yourself and see what you're able to achieve with adjusting and experimenting with some of the properties. And to start, we're just going to look at some of these first three properties here. First up, we have length, which is self-explanatory. But if we increase the length, then the length of the hair will get longer. So if I up that to 50 or even 500, which will be really super long. Yep, yeah, there you go. As you can see, you can make that as short or as long as you like, but we're going to leave ours at 35 for now. And with the thickness, we can again increase this number slightly just so the hairs are a little more visible. Let's put this to say two for now, but we might need to come back later and just drop this down slightly, but let's, let's leave it at two for now. So the weight is essentially just that. It's kind of how much uh, weight or gravity is affecting the hair. So if you drop that to zero, there will be no force whatsoever and then each hair will shoot straight out from its source in a perfect straight line. This does look a bit odd so we do need some force on our hair and I'm going to just leave that at the default one for now which we might come back to later. Before we go any further I am just going to go to our hair colour drop down and as you can see the default colour is this brown colour so you can change it in this box if you like to any colour you want or you can up the color inheritance to say 100 and it will take the color from our original logo or text. So if I was to go back to our logo or in my case text, let's just add a ramp, a ramp gradient, drop this on. Let's just make that blue and that one red. Let's do it from left to right. And then go back to our main composition. You will see that our fur or hair has that same color. But if I was to drop that color inheritance to zero, it will then look at our selected orange color here, or you can have anything in between. But I'm going to have that at 100. And I'm just going to blend that a bit more so it's not so prominent. That's fine, and let's go back. So this is looking not much like hair and more like a series of messy lines, which aren't really acting or falling how we'd like them to. It's not too far off, but we do need to play around with some of the properties to make this look a bit more like, like fur. Now we can up the density. So this is essentially how many hairs or fur there is, which does instantly make it look more like a furry logo or text, but it's very much a combed sort of very neat looking logo essentially. So. What I find works best is to play around with our hair form map, which the default map layer is its own layer. So we'll leave that as it is for now, but we will be changing that shortly. But to create more randomness, all we need to do is up this add noise percentage. It's currently on two, but if we put that on say 50%, and straight away you can see our hairs are more messy and a bit less uniform, a bit more, a bit more natural, a bit more what we're going for. And we can now even go back to our initial properties and we can maybe even up our density. So let's go with 1000. That's quite high, but I think that's looking a bit better. We can then potentially drop our weight down to 0.5. Yep, just so it has a bit more lift. We can even drop that a bit more to, let's go with 0.2. See how that looks. Yep, that's looking a bit nicer. And we can even up the thickness maybe to four nope that's horrible let's go back to two we can even drop that down to maybe even 1.5 and see how that looks yeah that's looking quite nice actually so let's leave that at 1.5 so we have our length at 35 thickness at 1.5 our weight is at 0.2 and our density 1000 and that is essentially how we can create our fur and depending on how you want yours to look you can just play with these main properties and you can sort of get lots of different effects and outcomes. So I might even drop our 
length to 25 just so they're not intersecting so much between our two letters but other than that I'm actually quite happy with how this has turned out. However if you were to play this through it is just a still image there isn't any movement and since we're animators we want this to animate we want this to move we want this to look like it's being affected by wind or some sort of movement or just affected in some way just to have some sort of movement and not be so static and to do this what we're going to do is again under our hair full map rather than our logo we're going to create a new layer so we do want to create a solid let's just call this map and we want this to have a variety of luminance the best way to do that is with a fractal noise effect so drag this onto our map and just so we can see what's happening here I'm going to leave it completely default and all I'm going to do is on our evolution is hold alt or option on my keyboard and click the stopwatch and then I'm going to type in time times 100 and then click off if I play that through you will see there is some movement in our in our fractal noise so let's turn that off and drag it to the bottom because we don't actually need to see that then go back to our hair and our hair full map and let's select that map layer and we do need to make sure on this second drop down rather than source it is effects and masks so that you can see that fractal noise layer and if I now play this through you will see that it is following our fractal noise and it's sort of waving in the wind and it's got quite a nice sort of wave to it but there is a bit more we can do so let's go back to our map layer and just solo this and I'm going to change this fractal type from basic to dynamic twist and that looks a bit more like a natural hair sort of shape but we are going to also up the scale so let's go to transform let's bring the scale right up to about here so that's at 269 or let's just round that up to 300 and then let's up the contrast to 150 yeah, and then the brightness, let's just drop that down slightly. Yeah, to about there, which is minus 20. And let's just go back and see how that has affected our fur and its movement. Yeah, I don't think that's looking too bad. So I'm just going to go back to our layer and we can adjust our properties further. So I'm going to I might make our hair even shorter. So let's say 15. Then I might up the density by another 500. So let's go to 1,500 just to fit in any little spaces. And the thickness, I think I'm quite happy with the thickness, but let's just see how two looks just for reference. Didn't really affect too much, so I'm going to leave that at 1.5. And any little adjustments we can do if you want to see more or less of the sort of the light and the shading in our hair, we have properties here where we can do that. So we can change the angle of our light source. And then we can also play with our shading so we can maybe up the specular to 50. We can bring down our ambience to let's say we can bring that down to zero. And you can just play around with these until you get something that you're that you're happy with. But I'm just going to leave those where they were for now. And I'm just going to just show you why we had our logo in a separate layer. So you can do anything you want in here. You can even, if I just turn that off, and let's just scale that down a bit. And then add another solid layer let's make this green sort of the color of grass click ok bring that to the bottom go back to our main composition and now we have a bird's eye view of a field of grass or a garden with some text painted on so the possibilities really really are endless here you can have a full page of fur you can have just tiny sections of fur you can create a a character and just isolate the hair just so the hair is nice and realistic and the rest be a sort of a normal vector or whatever you want to do you can do anything you want here and you can you can play all day i spent hours playing with this and i still don't fully understand its full capabilities and there's a lot more to explore and play with and i would advise you to do the same just have a play and see what you can come up with if you enjoyed this tutorial or found it useful i'd love it if you could hit that like button and subscribe to the channel but for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.